Good morning, Silas. Morning. It's nice to have you here. Um, this is Silas Emanuel. He is one of the students, um, Goshen College students, that the International Student Ministry Group uh, supports here at Goshen College. Silas, why don't you give us a little bit of your background, where specifically you're from, um, sure. etc. Um, hello, my name's Silas Emanuel. I'm from Delhi, India. Um, I'm about 21 years old. Uh, I come, a, come from a family of two siblings. My sister also went to Goshen College. Um, my dad uh, is, an, is a missionary in North India. My mom works for uh, TWR. So bit what of everything. What is TWR? Uh, TWR is Trans World Radio. So they kind of do um, a lot of Christian radio programs across uh, North and South India. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you come from a family that that is interested in media. Yes, very okay. much so. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about your interest in media and your major here at Goshen? Um, I'm a film production and accounting major. Um, a bit of an odd twist, but <laughs> uh, I have good fun. Um, I came to Goshen College to study film. My sister, of course, graduated uh, with a major in film and uh, theater. Um, so I wanted to kind of follow in her footsteps. I knew I was really interested in media from a young age. I got a lot of, I was I'm grateful to have gotten a lot of opportunities um, back in high school to be able to do that. And so I knew I wanted to come study film and I knew that Goshen College had a really good program, a great community. And so, you know, I just hopped on over. <laughs> Well, that helps answer the next question a little bit. How and why did you select Goshen College? So your sister, did you know other students that also came to Goshen? Um, we had a few family friends, and of course my cousins came after my sister too. Okay. Um, I only applied to Goshen College. Uh, most people thought I was crazy. You should have <laughs> at least apply to two to three. But I just had the sense from... Our college advisor had come to Goshen College maybe when I was in grade nine, and when she came back, she knew that I was interested in Goshen College, so she gave me a t-shirt and this pen and sunglasses, and I was this crazy kid going around my high school wearing this Goshen College t-shirt from my like grade 10. I still have that t-shirt. And so I, I knew for a long time that that's kind of the community I wanted to be a part of. Didn't know if it would fall, you know, come together like that, but I knew I was really interested in being here. Are you a Woodstock graduate? I am not a Woodstock okay, graduate. Okay, so you went to a public school. Um, I went to a private, private school. school. Okay. Um, I went to an international private, private school, school for missionary kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, what activities have you been involved in at Goshen? Extracurriculars that sh that you really enjoyed? Well, I'm a part of the International Student Club. I'm one of the okay. leaders. Uh -huh. um, Everyone should come to Coffee House. I don't know when people are going to see this, but... Soon. Um, okay. Uh, Coffee House, you know, that's always great. And that's um, April 1st. April 1st. Yes. It's not a joke. It's happening. It's happening. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, of course, the International Student Club. I also work at a lot of different places on campus. Um, I work at ITS Media, so I do a lot of events. Most people would see me hopping around Souter or CMC, um, sometimes even the Rec Fitness Center. Um, I also work for Five Core. I just premiered one of my documentaries, but that, um, Goshen, the past of the sun. I always mix up the name, but uh, if you haven't seen it, you should. Yes. Um, that Go has been Goshen, a the um, transformation of a sundown city. Yes. Wow, yes. you know it better than I do. Well, I watched it. It was wonderful. Perfect. Yes. Um, and Five Core Media is Goshen College's film yes. um, organization. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what What was the hardest adjustment you had coming to Goshen? I think it was, initially it was very hard to just get used to a whole new environment w without the support systems that I was used to. Um, it was a big adjustment to, you know, in, in a split second, I've lost most people that I was used to for all these years. Um, I'd never left my country before. I remember when I landed in Chicago, my phone lost its internet. So I was stranded for 40 minutes running around downtown. <laughs> Things like those just, I knew that because I was empowered with the language and I could communicate with people. I knew that that wouldn't be an issue, but I think I took for granted how different it is 
being in the U.S. versus being in a country like India. Culturally, it, culturally, very culturally yeah. different. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of norms that I was used to or I, I would abide by now did not apply in this culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you come to the United States as a Christ, with a Christian background, right? Yes. And so that is a minority group in India, Yes. correct? Yes. Um, did, did that in any way help you with the transition to the United States? Um, being a part of um, East Ocean Mennonite has been really cool. Um, uh, my sister went there when she was mm-hmm. here. I mm-hmm. decided to go there. Um, I have a mentor there who has been very helpful in my, with my adjustment. And, uh, you know, back home I was used to having mentors, my dad around, uh, especially with my faith journey. So coming here I was a little worried about what that would look like. Mm-hmm. So having that has been really good. Um, I think the approach is, of course, different. It's it's like being here, there's churches everywhere, which is <laughs> yeah. something so different than um, even when we do have churches in India, they're like in a corner, quiet. It's not a big thing. Um, so it's, it's really cool to see that whole difference and then just dive right into uh, Mennonite culture has been really cool. Um, I... I tell all my friends that in India, I was the last person you'd expect at a hymn sing. But then here, you know, every few weeks I'm at a hymn sing and I think you, you learn to appreciate that part of the church and what that brings to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything that surprised you um, being a student here at Goshen? Um, not really. Nothing that I can think of. It helped of having... Head. An older sister, right? Exactly. Who kind of probably showed, I mean, at least told you some of the things that you were going to experience. For sure. Um, having my sister, you know, as a, just someone that I can talk to about it, every every few days I would call her. And my parents thought they would never hear from me. So did my sister when I was out here. But I call them every morning. I'm, I give them a, give them a rundown. Whenever I have issues, I my sister is usually the first person I call. I know she's experienced this. She's been here, um, especially with film mm-hmm. and, you know, just interacting in this environment. She's someone that has been very crucial in making sure that I was prepared. Um, maybe a week before I came came out to the U.S., we, we were sitting every night and uh, on Google Street View, she was showing me where Martin's is, where, <laughs> where, where the bank is, where I should walk to. The wonderful effects of technology, right? Yes. That's wonderful, yes, yep. with technology. Um, how has the support from ISMG uh, been crucial to your coming to Goshen? Yeah, I... I I remember, um, even though I was so sure that I wanted to come to Goshen College, of course, money is always a huge factor. Mm -hmm. Um, My parents being missionaries and, you know, um, we always knew that paying for college was going to be a challenging part. I remember initially being very discouraged because even after all the scholarships, it it was just too much. I I knew my parents couldn't afford it. I, I just knew, like, even... Even if we talked, tried, there was just not much to do. Um, there was about a week-long period where I was up every night because I knew it was the daytime in the U.S. And every hour I was refreshing my email, waiting from to hear from Dan. Um, he told me that there was a scholarship available. He wasn't sure how much it was going to be. Um, and I remember each day just losing a little bit of faith that I think this is it. And I remember maybe two or three days in, my sister came and said, you know, God has brought you this far. He will take you further. Just be patient. I am sure that you will be in Goshen. And I remember telling her she's crazy. Like, <laughs> it's just not going to work anymore. And one of those days as I was refreshing, I, I got this email from Dan, and this was the last scholarship I was waiting on. Um, and he said, yeah, you you have the scholarship. It's more than I expected. And, you know, that, that was the last bit. And from that point, I knew that, you know, God was going to make it happen. Great. Well, we're so happy that we could be a part of your journey here at Goshen College, and we wish you well, and I'm sure we'll have a lot more contact with you. Thanks for being with us today, Silas. Thank you.